What is going on guys, it's Modded Dwarf here, welcome back to another video. So a lot of you guys have been requesting that I keep you guys up to date on the progress of the 7.55 jailbreak that uh, I did a video on a couple of weeks ago, basically saying that there's probably going to be a new 7.55 jailbreak coming out sometime very soon. And of course it's been two weeks now, still no jailbreak as of yet, and so some people are getting a little bit worried. And yeah, I've just been getting requests to kind of keep people up to date. So that's what this video is for. So to do a little recap here, first of all, the reason we believe there's going to be a 7.55 jailbreak coming out soon is because the flow on HackerOne requested disclosure of a bug report that he submitted to Sony saying that there's an exploit in the PS4's uh, operating system in the kernel. And that was partially disclosed here in this report. And because of that, other exploit devs can then take that information, that vulnerability, and try to implement it and get a jailbreak. So um, it's not really a matter of if there'll be a jailbreak, it's more of when, for the most part anyway, unless for some reason it's just too difficult for the other exploit devs to implement. But that's pretty unlikely. So the question is, of course, it's been two weeks and there's still no jailbreak out yet. Why is it taking so long? Well, if you look back at the 6.72 exploit, a similar thing happened, basically the same kind of thing happened. The flow again requested disclosure of a bug report that he submitted to Sony, which was again a vulnerability in the kernel that could be exploited on the PS4 to jailbreak the system. And then Slurs Gurvy or Slurs Gorvy or however you pronounce it, sorry, I'm probably butchering that. He basically took that information from uh, the flow and he was able to recreate it on the PS4, chain it with a WebKit exploit and release a full jailbreak for 6.72, which turned into a full jailbreak for 7.02 as well, because we got a new WebKit exploit uh, not that long ago, a couple of months ago, for that works up to 7.55. And therefore, he was able to implement the kernel exploit on 7.02, um, because this exploit was patched after 7.02. So 7.02 currently is the highest jailbreak available. And you've got to bear in mind that it actually took about a week and a half, I believe, from when this was initially reported on July 6th to when we actually got uh, the exploit, which I think was, you know, July 16th, 17th, something like that. So it took about a week and a half for a new jailbreak to come out after this was reported. And you've got to bear in mind that this was a full disclosure, which basically means that um, the entire report was disclosed to the public right here, as you can see including an attachment of the actual exploit. Now, this attachment is for the exploit for FreeBSD9 and FreeBSD12, which um, is kind of like the underlying operating system that the PS4 runs on. Um, it's kind of like an open source operating system. So Sony will have kind of changed it to suit their needs and added their own additional security and changes to it. Because of that, it's not like people could just take this exploit code and you know, just use it and get the jailbreak out immediately, they had to first convert this from C to JavaScript because, you know, the exploit has to be done via JavaScript because it's through a WebKit exploit. So it needs to be done through the web browser. So it would, the exploit would have to be converted to JavaScript. Plus, it would probably have to be changed quite a bit to actually get it to work on the PS4 since the PS4 change their implementation of FreeBSD9 with their own additional security, like I said. So Therefore, it took a little while for exploit devs to actually get that all sorted. But the point is they had, they basically had the exploit right there showing them exactly how the flow exploited the system and they were able to recreate that on the PS4 because they actually had the exploit code right here that they could just download. Whereas that is not the case with this new release. This uh, release was disclosed in a limited capacity. So it's just a summary by PlayStation of the, of the bug basically reporting, you know, what the issue is with the bug. There's no source code that people can download to see exactly how to exploit the bug. Um, so that is the problem. So that means that there's a lot more work for exploit devs to actually do in order to get a jailbreak here. So they know where the vulnerability is, but they still have to basically figure out completely from scratch how to how to get access to that and actually how to exploit it to the point of being able to read and write to the kernel. So that's obviously not going to be easy and that's going to, that's what's taking the most time for people to figure out. Plus, I believe the flow reported that it only has like a 20% success rate. So, you know, there could be issues rel relating to that on trying to get the bug to trigger consistently. So 
that's essentially why things are going to be taking longer. So the question is now how much progress has actually been made. So there actually has been quite a bit of progress made so far. So you've got, like I say, you've got Slurs Gorvi, Slurs Gurvy, sorry again, butchering the name. Um, but he went ahead and actually, so far, like I say, he's the guy who implemented the exploit for 6.72 and 7.02. And so far, he has actually managed to get this new exploit running on FreeBSD. On FreeBSD 9, he was actually able to implement a exploit that uses that vulnerability that the flow reported. And he has managed to get kernel access on FreeBSD. So that is a huge step in the right direction. It doesn't mean that he's got an exploit for the PS4 yet, because like I say, the, the implementation of FreeBSD on the PS4 is different. And therefore, you know, there's additional security and changes, which mean that this might not translate directly to the PS4. Plus, again, converting it to JavaScript, chaining it with a WebKit exploit, that has to be done as well. So obviously, um, you know, it's not it's not there yet, but that is a very good step in the right direction. So that's as far as as far as he's got so far publicly anyway. He's also put this source code on GitHub so that other exploit devs can, you know, take a look at his implementation and maybe try and find a way of implementing it on the PS4, which would be good. So that's what we have so far from him. Then on the other side of the spectrum, you've got Spectre. Now, Spectre is the guy who's released the exploits for pretty much all the other exploits that have been out for the PS4 before 6.72. So that's your 1.76 through to your 5.05. I know there's other people who are also involved, um, but Spectre is the one who's always, you know, released the exploits and actually done the kernel write-ups for the most part. So, um, and it's mostly him who's done the exploits as far as I know. Um, but I know there were other devs involved in some of the other exploits. So, you know, just want to put that out there. I uh, don't want to discredit anyone, obviously. So Spectre has also been working on it. He's been working on it with, um, oh, what's his name again? T-I-H-M star or something, I think. Um, so the, yeah, they've been working on it in live streams. They've done two five hour live streams so far working on it. And they have made progress as far as I can tell. It seems that they are able to trigger a kernel panic through the using the vulnerability to trigger a kernel panic but the last i checked they weren't able to trigger it consistently i think and also you know it that's still a ways away from you know getting it to actually get proper read write access to the kernel but being able to trigger a kernel panic and being able to do it you know multiple times although not quite consistently which could be something to do with that 20 percent success rate thing yeah, that, that's basically as far as they've got so far, I believe. Um, but they're doing a live stream every week. So far, they're like five hour long live streams. So you can always dip into one of the live streams and check it out. You can literally watch the progress being made in real time, which is pretty awesome. It's on the Day Zero Sec um, Twitch channel, which I'll link in the description. So yeah, that's where things are right now. So you've got Spectre uh, working on the exploit here. Uh, and you also have, of course, Slurs Gurvy, Slurs Gurvy, sorry, <laughs> once again, um, who has been working on the, um, who has been working on it as well and managed to get the exploit running on FreeBSD9. So yeah, that's where we are right now. So it's just taking longer than, than the previous exploit because, you know, the exploit devs are working with less information than the last exploit. With the last e exploit, they had the, the full um, source code there for them to to troll through and find uh, how it's being done and trying to implement that on the PS4, which is much easier than, you know, just being told where the vulnerability is and not knowing exactly how to exploit that vulnerability and having to figure that out themselves from start to finish. So obviously, because of that, things are definitely going to take longer. Um, but, you know, like I say, progress is being made, so don't worry. It, there, I'm pretty confident there's going to be a 7.55 jailbreak or... Again, there was some confusion on whether it was going to be 7.51 or 7.55 uh, jailbreak. I'm pretty confident now that it is going to be 7.55. The reason I thought that the jailbreak was maybe going to be 7.51 and not work on 7.55 is because the report was on July 26th and 7.55 came out in August, which is after this report. So you would think they would have patched it in 7.55, but other people have pointed out that um, actually, if you look at the conversations, 
it's possible that Sony didn't actually acknowledge it until August, in which case they probably wouldn't have had enough time to patch it in 7.55. Therefore, they probably patched it in 8.00, so the exploit will most likely work on 7.55 um, and lower, obviously. So, yeah, that's basically it, guys. So, progress has been made. Don't worry. Um, just keep an eye on things. Like I say, check out the Day Zero Sec Twitch channel for the live streams from Spectre. And obviously, um, you can keep up with uh, with any developments from Slurs Gurvy. Slurs Gurvy, again, on his uh, Twitter, although he typically doesn't post that much. Normally he stays kind of silent until he releases something, but um, keep an eye on those two exploit devs because those are the ones who are actively working on trying to develop this into a jailbreak. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys on a 7.55 PS4 with a jailbreak soon.